in this video, we'll make our game like right, the piece pieces like movable instead of like moving this like this placeholder around. Okay, so uh, let's get started. We want to those is those right are successful code. So let's cut that and put it here. Um, let's highlight and uh, control I yeah to auto format. Now let's give it a try. Run it. Now let's try to move this guy. Yeah. Okay. So very good. And uh, let's continue. So okay. Now maybe we can make this one a little bit narrower so we can see our yeah our simulator. So next let's create a moving piece state, okay? So we'll we'll get rid of this guy. Uh, so let's create one here at the state private one moving piece. See so moving piece can be new, right? Just piece. Hmm? Moving piece. Is it still? Oh, what's wrong? See, just um, state. Uns P I E. What? Use of undeclared type. Do we have that? C chess piece. Why does it complain? Why does it complain? Use of undeclared C. Oh, sorry. Typo. Yeah. I C chess. Okay. So now we have that. Uh, initially it's nil, right? And uh, we can check here if self dot moving piece if it's not nil, then we can move it we can move the the moving piece right so what we'll do is image self dot moving piece now it's not new dot image name right image name we can do that and uh, let's change it uh, make it the same size we don't want it like okay um let's make it move okay so moving piece when we yeah when this happened right we can set our moving piece here right so uh, but we need to get our moving piece out. So we need what we need. Okay, let's make it bigger here. So yeah, how can we get it out of the moving piece? We need that, right? We need this one. Um, yes, here. Right, so now we can set the moving piece. Moving piece equals self dot game dot. <laughs> we need a piece set function. Yeah, 
let's create a function like to find a piece right so let's go back to our um, to our game model okay so let's define a piece at initialize function piece at like colon int and the uh, row int let's return a c chess piece question mark it can be nil so that's an easy way to uh, implement that instead of using for loop we can use like pieces dot filter and uh, let's put our uh, predict here so predicate here predicate here and uh, the condition so it's like colon piece okay so this is the the piece right in inside of this pieces collection so dot colon equal equal this colon and uh, this one dot the row right equal equal that row you will return um uh collection of that so first yeah it could be nil so that piece that now let's go back to our here so dot piece uh -huh. command b to trigger the comparison so piece that yes from colon and from row so now we can set the moving piece right to that um, so after we finish the dragging we are set our moving piece to nil again okay so uh, why okay it complains about that uh, so here okay um, self dot that okay mm. yeah this one we can just use that right value dot location because that is so value dot location location is is same value dot location does it compile now command b okay it compiles let's try it so now try to move this guy okay that's good uh, it's too big too big so we need to make it smaller uh, and the same idea we can just copy this one right copy that make it smaller and then now run it so try it again wow cool and it reports that this one right from well to well nice we can use this to trigger our right uh, piece move logic let's add a move piece function in our game engine okay, okay. let's be that one so let's go back to our game engine here mm, to add a move piece function so function uh -huh. move piece right from colon int from row in and two colon int and the two row int okay no turn so how can we do that mm-hmm <laughs> so that's guarantee the mo the moving piece is not so guard statement is not empty okay so uh, let moving piece 
equals piece at right piece at this from colon and from row so if it's nil we just ignore it okay otherwise we remove the p the moving piece we remove the moving piece the moving piece and we'll insert right <laughs> a new one in a new location dot insert now see chess piece colon two colon right and the two row and the image name it's the moving piece dot image name right yes what about the capturing e so if there's a target capture uh, in the destination location right we'll remove that too we have to if let yeah like that so target piece equals p set same thing two location right and two row yeah if there's one easy we just remove it that too dot remove target piece that's it logic is simple now let's go back to our view business so where can we put that logic of course it's here right under this one when we finally really right lift our finger from the screen we can call our <laughs> um oh let's create a function inside um, our view uh, struct yeah so let's create a function here it can be private private function move piece but we are dedicated this to our uh, model okay so same thing here and uh, we'll copy that signature mm -hmm. we'll copy this one okay go back so move is double click that and we'll dedicate this right to our game dot move piece mm -hmm. command b to trigger the compiler yes so from colon from row to colon and to row now we can call this function here right self dot move piece from colon and uh, from row and to colon and uh, to row that's it so why what's wrong here what's wrong here that's command b oh it builds okay it's just if it didn't refresh quickly okay now let's try to move this piece oh it works wow we can move the piece you see basically the game is playable oh okay what about capturing so let's do a capture here yes yes okay what about this guy he's gone right oh so we'll fix the small thing in our next video see you then thank you for watching